Wow. How about once again a big hand for all of our performers from the choir to our two Lawrence. Oh. My God, you're beautiful. This time I'd like to introduce a, a very special person here. Rebecca Matangi Walker is currently a lecturer of cultural anthropology here at BYUH. She is an alumni of the BYU Hawaii and has studied anthropology at the University of California in Santa Barbara. Although most of her expertise comes from her lived life experience as a Pacific Island woman. Rebecca has always been interested in race and identity issues and has been an advocate for advancing underrepresented voices in all that she does. While a graduate student at UCSB, she started a graduate student of color organization to promote the retention of underrepresented groups in graduate programs. While teaching here at BYU, it is her goal that every student who she teaches leaves her course knowing that it mean what it means to be culturally relativistic and to want to live it. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big hand please for Sister Rebecca Walker. You have to have permed hair, relaxed hair. You know, straight hair or like blonde hair, you know, long weaves or something. And if it's natural, that's even, that's, that's good hair. Like bad hair is hair you have to relax because it's kinky. Like it's not like appealing to have like natural hairstyles or like if they are natural, they have to be like the curly head, like black girl or something that looks mixed or something. There are standards that are imposed upon us like, um, you know, you're pretty, you're prettier if you're light-skinned. I knew people in the past that, like, just, like, wanted to be light-skinned, not for any particular reason, you know, because they love themselves. I mean, they, they love themselves except for, you know, the color of their skin. Like, my siblings are all lighter than me, and my, um, my mom, she's dark-skinned, but she's lighter than me. So, like, I noticed, and I was like, hey, how come I'm the darkest, and, you know, everybody else is so light, and... I don't know. Since I was younger, I, I also considered being lighter as a form of beauty or, you know, beautiful, more, be you know, beautiful than being dark skinned. So I used to think of myself as being ugly because I was dark skinned. In Brown versus Board of Education, the famous case that desegregated schools in the 1950s, Dr. Kenneth Clark conducted a doll test with black children. He asked them to choose between a black doll and a white doll. In most instances, the majority of the children preferred the white doll. I decided to reconduct this test as Dr. Clark did to see how we've progressed since then. Can you show me the doll that you like best or that you'd like to play with? Can you show me the doll that is the nice doll? And why is that the nice doll? She's white. And can you show me the doll that looks bad? Okay. And can you give, and why does that look bad? Because it's black. And why do you think that's a nice doll? Because she's white. And can you give me the doll that looks like you? Fifteen out of the 21 children preferred the white doll. I think for a black girl in general, it's like you're missing a piece of you, you know? And 
for me. But yeah, it's like, oh, I, I don't have any any actual heritage, not heritage, but culture. Like, I know I'm, I'm from Africa, but, you know, different the different countries in Africa have their different cultures, their different morals, their different values. And not knowing that it just, it, it sort of keeps us at a loss. And we just, I feel like we're busy searching for it while everybody else in society is throwing their ideas and what they believe we should be at us but you know personally we know that's not what we should be but we're gonna take it because we ha we don't know exactly what it is that we should be because we don't really know where we came from <laughs> You just watched the film, A Girl Like Me, sorry, <laughs> which was produced by Kiri Davis. This was not planned. <laughs> she was 16 when she made the film. The film was the winner of the Diversity Award in the Media That Matters Film Festival of 2006. In this film, we see what a history, the effects of a history of discrimination in the actions and words of young African-American children. The emotions we feel as we watch three and four year old children attach the word bad to the doll that resembles them are real. And it's an eye opening and tragic mo moment in our day and age to witness that. Where did these children learn this perspective? What can you and I do to change this? How do we stop these stereotypes that teach self hatred to children? I suggest that we stop fearing the word race and start taking the time to understand it. Your race is the color of your skin. Race is a social construct that was used historically to justify slavery, murder, ethnocide, and genocide of entire populations of people. I see this film as a reminder that racism is not erased and as a cry from these girls and from Kiri Davis, the filmmaker, to be seen and treated for who they are and not just because of the color of the skin. A girl like me is me. It is you. It is all of us. Whether it be our race, our ethnicity, our social class, our religion, or our gender, too many of us hold insecurities about who we are and who we are supposed to be. But be you. Love you. Love your culture. Love your skin. Love your heritage and love your divine lineage from a loving Father in heaven who created us all. I say today that the first step to ending racism is acknowledging its existence and to consciously choose to love one another. And so we go forth with our soul focused on the glory of being a child of God, our hearts focused on loving every individual, and our hands willing to serve others at all times and at all places. Thank you.